Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. When I reviewed the Razer Huntsman V2 TKL, I shared that one of my biggest gripes with the keyboard is the rattling sound that comes from the stabilizer wires of each switch. Because of that, I did a preliminary sound test between switches with and without the stabilizer wire. And while it was preliminary, I personally felt that it was a slight improvement, so I decided to remove the stabilizer wires from each and every switch. First things first, I grabbed the keycap remover and popped off all the keycaps, then used a Phillips head screwdriver and undid all the screws on the keyboard. Because the Huntsman V2 TKL is an optical keyboard, you can just simply pop each switch out. Here I'm using a Victorinox Classic SD screwdriver tool, otherwise any flat head screwdriver will get the job done. After removing all the switches, I decided to also take the opportunity to lube the stabs on the Huntsman V2 TKL. They are clip-in stabs, so all you have to do is just push them out of the plate. These stabs are quite similar to CoStar stabs, but please accept my apologies because I don't know the proper terminology for this type of stabs. Here's a look at how I remove the wire from a switch. Carefully lift out one side of the stabilizer wire from the main switch and move it up on top of the switch. Repeat this on the other side and the wire will come loose. Then just pull the wire down and out. Note how removing the wire doesn't affect the switch. It's simple and straightforward, just a little tedious having to do the same thing for every single switch. Then, just pop every switch back into each slot. Next, it was time to loop the stab, so I grabbed some dielectric grease and applied some to the stab wire, then installed it back into the main stab housing. After that, I simply pressed the stabs back into the plate and PCB assembly. Moving on to the other half of the stabs that were attached to the mod keys, I grabbed some Crytox 205G0 and lubed the outer walls of each stem then dab some dielectric grease into the slot of each stem. In order to fully reassemble the stabs, I pushed down on the wire with the Victorinox Classic SD on the underside, then pressed down the keycap on the other. Each wire will snap into the slot of the stabilizer stem. It's actually much easier than it seems. Also, it's a standard practice of mine to test out stabs before fully reassembling a keyboard in the event that I may need to add more lube or make any adjustments. And everything sounded good to me. I did a quick key test, followed by reassembling the Razer Huntsman V2 TKL in the reverse order from when we disassembled it, and finishing up by putting all the keycaps back on. And finally, a sound comparison of the before and after.
At this point, I'd like to say that honestly, this is all personal preference. Was all that time and effort spent worth it? To me, yes, but that's because I press my keys quite hard when I type, which can cause the wires to rattle a little. I said it before and I'll say it again, the rattling sound is soft, but it's something that I personally can't unhear. If you're someone who doesn't type too heavily or if the sound doesn't bother you, then there's absolutely no reason to do this. Please spend your time on something more productive instead. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'd also like to ask you to hit the sub button if you're not yet a subscriber. And that's it everyone, thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. Shoutouts to Razer for sending me the Razer Huntsman V2 TKL and for letting me do silly stuff to it like this. I will catch all of you in my next slice. Bye!